Greetings, traveller. I'm Chris, and welcome back to my World of Warcraft Rat... Nope. Cataclysm Classic Series. Playing as a Blood Elf Paladin. Deathwing is unleashed, and the world of Azeroth is forever changed. Today we discover the new features of the Cataclysm Classic Expansion, as well as continuing our questing in Hillsborough Foothills. Please enjoy this playthrough. So first off, you may notice a bit of a change of scenery. Um, everything has changed, literally, um, with this expansion. So especially this area is completely different. We'll just go out and have a little tour of it. Um, I'm really interested. I haven't really looked into too much of the changes here. I wanted to experience it with you guys, but this, um, as well as many other things, are very, very different now. What is it? Welcome back to Hillsborough Foothills. Uh, considerably different compared to when we were last here. Um, I like it. I think it looks good. I think it looks fresh and different. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Um, our quests have been reset. Our talent points have been reset also. So we've got a bit of work out for us. We've got a nice crop of quests as well to do in the area. I think probably what we should first do is just hunker down and get our talent points set. Um, we're going to go with Retribution. And again, the talent point system is all different. It's uh, the Cataclysm style. So we have Templar's Verdict, an instant weapon attack that causes a percent of damage, consumes all charges of holy power to increase damage dealt. One holy power, 30%, two holy power, 90, three holy power, 235. Wow, that is a whopping increase. Uh, we have Sheath of Light increases your spell power by an amount equal to 30% of your attack power and increases your chance to hit with spells by 8. Two-handed specialization, 25% increase, and Judgment of the Bold. Your Judgment grants you 25% of your mana over 10 seconds, which is going to be absolutely brilliant for us. So if you've um, seen the previous talents from Wrath, it is kind of an evolution of those. I think it, to me, it feels a bit more of a kind of simplified version of them, almost. Um, this is the talent tree we have now. Um, so it's, I think it's a bit more easy to view, um, a little bit less. So on the first tier, we've got eye for an eye. All magic attacks against you have a 20% chance, 20 chance to cause 30% of the attack taken back to the attacker. Crusade increases the damage of your Crusader Strike, Hammer of the Righteous, Templar's Verdict by 10%, and the damage and healing of your Holy Shot by 10. In addition, for 15 seconds after you kill an enemy, yields experience or honor, your Holy Light heals for an additional 100%. I think that could be quite a nice one to go for. Um, I am looking at Improved Judgment. It increases the range of your Judgment by 10 yards. And that will take us into Long Arm of the Law. Your Judgment has a 50% chance to increase your movement speed by 45% for 4 seconds when used on targets at or further than 15 yards from you. So it's just a nice little mobility one, really. And it only takes 2 points. We have got 10 to spend. The setup is different. Now we're in Cataclysm because it's got to stretch right through the expansion. So we'll go for Improved Judgment. Uh, Crusader, or Crusade. Um... Uh, Crusade Strike, Hammer of the Righteous, Templar's Verdict by 10%. Templar's Verdict is going to be the big one we'll be using. And that unlocks the second tier. Now we've got Pursuit of Justice. You have a 50% chance to gain a charge of Holy Power when struck by a stun, fear, or immobilization. More PvP, I feel. Rule of Law increases the critical effect chance of your crusader strike hammer of the righteous and word of glory by five percent that's going to be quite a nice one to go for guardian's favor reduces the cooldown of your hand of protection by 60 percent sorry 60 seconds increases the duration of hand of freedom by two so i think rule of law is going to be the one for us uh, what else do we have to get here we do need to get a couple more points to get this next set Pursuit of Justice looks good. And Magic Attacks, I'm not entirely sure. I don't really think we're going to use that too much. That looks good for now. Hopefully we've got some spells to use. Word of Glory, see your trainer, see your trainer. We probably do have to get back to, um, to Wonder City to grab these. Temple of Verdict... Speed of Light, Retribution Order, 
Got a judgment. Crusader strike. Now it's going to be a very uh, Attic Paladin spell. Parry. And Reckoning. Good. Righteous Fury. Probably not going to need that just yet. Looking good. Blessing of Kings. Hmm. So I think we'll do a bit of questing first off because it's a bit of a trip to get back to the train and just to see what it's like. And if we have to go back, we'll uh, we'll go back. We'll see how we get on with what we have here. I think we've got the main generators. So Crusader Strike um, causes 175.5% weapons damage. Judgment unleashes the energy of a seal to judge an enemy for holy damage. We've got Templar's Verdict. Okay. So we need our seal. No seal of command from what I can see, so that's gone unless it's later down in the tree now it's going to be a learning experience just getting used to it okay so we've got our seal of righteousness melee attacks cause an additional 18 holy damage and unleashing the seal's energy will cause 86 holy damage to an enemy we'll keep on here for now just to see if we do need it and we'll grab some quests. So we've got Krusk. East Point Tower. Our outpost in the southeast is having some problems. I don't have any details other than, well, let me just read from the latest letter. The orcs have grown petulant. Send help or I will have them beaten with reeds. That's it. They were sent from our chief philosopher. Silosopher. Nils Birot. Yeah, I have no idea what that means either. Could you please head to East Point Tower and find out what he needs? I can't take any more of these cryptic letters. Just head south, then follow the road east. Okay, we can definitely do that. Very polite orc as well. The Rack Nightfall. Stag witches. I've had a stag witch, me neither. Apparently they're delicious. Now, I'm not one for eating, but I'm a businessman. If my customers want stag witches, who am I to argue? You're probably asking yourself, what does this have to do with me? I'll tell you what, Paladin, I need stag meat. You get me stag meat from the hill stags of Hillsbad, and I will pay you. Sounds like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? Beware. Keeper Belvaril. I'm listening. The heart of the matter. The Magus has been idle for too long, and an idle Magus often leads to poorly thought out schemes. This time I am charged with collecting various beast organs in order to power some type of control rod. I am far too frail to go out hunting beasts, especially yetis. Perhaps if you were to offer, if I were to offer you a reward of some kind, you would do it. All I need is for you to head west to the yeti caves and kill yetis, rip their still beating hearts from their chests, and bring them back here. Sounds like a quest for us. For and perhaps, ah, oh, we've got some uh, up here as well. I do like the new styles. Looks like they've done some really good work on it. Kind of reminds me of Shadow Frankie. Okay. What would you ask? Yetimus the Yeti Lord. For years, the mountain Yeti of this region have been allowed free reign. Our complacency in dealing with the Yeti menace has resulted in an aberration. Yetimus. Lord of all Yetis, has grown to a size and strength that our guard simply cannot handle. We feared that should his appetite lead him near Tarim Mill, he would devour us all. Gather a party of suitable adventurers and dispatch the beast. He roams the countryside to the west. Bring me one of his horns and I will reward you handsomely. We do get a nice mallet. It's actually a really nice, sorry, mallet and mace even. I'm not so great in the art style, but the yeah, well, stats are beautiful. What's the shield? Do you like a nice shield? That's a that's an interesting looking shield as well. Okay. Trust no one. Make a judgment call on that. 
Humbert's personal problems, so this is pretty embarrassing. Where to begin? Well, you see, Malisara sent me to investigate the Yeti menace in the nearby caves west of here. It was getting late and my armour was weighing heavily on me. I took my gear off and decided to take a stroll. Yes, I um, went for a walk. Anyway, when I returned, I discovered that my gear had been stolen. It was the Yetis, I'm sure of it. They took my pants, sword and helm. I ran off to the cave. Get them back for me and I will reward you. We can do that. Oh, yeah. I do recall another similar quest where gear was stolen last time and we had to go over to uh, Dunhall Keep, so that's kind of interesting. And we've got the war board. Okay, the war chief's command board. This is looking familiar. I like the art on it as well. They've done a really good job. Is that, uh, is that the Alliance King? War Chief's Command are Rathi Highlands. All able-bodied members of the Horde are hereby ordered to report to Dark Ranger Alina at Galen's Fall. The Dark Lady's forces need your help to expand the dominion of the Horde and drive back the Alliance interlopers. To reach the Arathi Highlands, travel east from Hillsbrad Foothills and follow the road past Thoradin's Wall. Destiny calls. Oh, it's going to be really cool going to uh, Arathi. Looking forward to that. I believe XP is... Uh, the rate of XP you earn is increased as well, kind of similar to the Joyous Journeys. Um, previously, it should be Glory at that kind of rate if you a little bit faster, so it'll be interesting to find out. Advisor Dusking Dawn, we do remember her from last time. A fighting chance. Remember the sun well. Blessed be the light. I need your help. On my way into Hillsborough, I noticed several families of adorable little deer. As I went out to pet one of the little fawns, a ravenous mountain cat leapt out and killed it. I fled to Tower Mill and swore to solve the plight of the hill fawn. Now, after many days of tinkering, I have created the hill fawn's salvation. Take my wand into the fields to the west and use it to empower the wee hill fawns. Once empowered, they will be able to fend for themselves. Save ten hill fawns. Salama Ashalanore. Okay, well, since that's the Horde, it is absolutely going to go wrong. As it always does. We need to get our mount. It doesn't look like it's... There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a Rathi. We've got East Point Tower. It'd be cool to get some of these done. Are they within our level? Oh, yeah, they're all easy. easily. We'll see if we can quickly burst through these. Try out our... Templar's verdict as well. That 306 weapon damage looks especially juicy. I'm interested to see exactly what kind of, of uh, DPS that can kick out. Still have our mighty horse and we're still doing our paladin tricks, so uh, it'll be interesting to see exactly what it's like. I'm hoping to get to all the way to um, max level, try out some of the end game content, maybe a little bit of PvP, dabble in a few bits here and there. Yetimus is looking particularly big. So, we know we've got something for this. Take him on 5,000 health. Maybe we should just grab some yetis just for now. Get these abilities to test as well. Okay, so we can build up our charges. Actually, probably need to grab these as they're our heal spells, but we've got. Flash of light and holy light still, so we're doing kind of good. Walking quite a distance with judgment now. 30 yard range, wow. Yeti. Okay, let's try our uh just heard it then. Let's 
uh, some considerable damage. Got a weapon, did we? This axe of the bear. Main hand weapon as well. Could be good. Okay, so so far, it seems like paladin damage is in kind of a good place. Heal. Brilliant. And we've got a talent point which unlocks the next tier. Um, Divine Storm. Wow, that's a beautiful. That is an absolutely beautiful uh, spell. Art of War. Auto attacks have a seven percent chance to make your next exorcism instant, free, and cause an additional hundred percent damage. That is nice as well. Communion. Your auras increase your party and raise damage dealt by three, and your own damage is increased by an additional 2% at all times. In addition, your judgment causes replenishment, which grants mana equal to 1% of your maximum mana. But I've got to say, I have to try out this Divine Storm. If I can find it. Yes, okay. An instant weapon attack that causes 100% weapon damage to all enemies within 8 yards. The Divine Storm heals up to 3 party or raid members, totaling 25% of the damage caused and will grant a charge of holy power if it hits 4 or more targets. So that's really quite a nice um, AoE spell. Can we just... 4.5 second cooldown but... a few extra mobs and do some damage though, that's always good. Also does have a improved uh, audio for the uh, weapon hits and spell hits which is quite a nice touch. But the still beating hearts we do need to get uh, the weapons. So many new things are happening, I'm probably not actually paying um, as much attention as I should be to the uh, to the game. Heals from that divine stone, which is uh, brilliant. And we've got a new chess piece Defender Tunic of the Bear. Okay, let's see how this looks. Pretty good. It actually looks like a matching set, I have to admit.
It's our Humbert's pants. Great. So, what else do we need from here? It's helm. Yet to miss at some point as well. Gonna be around here though. I think we'll have to go the other way. Must be in this part of the cave. Just missed the um, just missed the prop for that, but be interested to try that again. More new things to play with. Same very uh, rest of the damage output so far. Let's see where our mitigation spells are. Let's see. Ooh, so we don't have any. At least yet. That's uh, that's going to be dicey for us, really. Um, divine protection thirty. Ooh. Okay. Righteous defense. Divine shield forty-eight. Okay, so we're going to have to focus on healing up, really. of kings is on a I guess it's on a one hour cooldown. It is. So in general the buttons we're pressing are actually combat buttons rather than kind of uh, other buttons just to kind of keep stats off. Oh can we get him? Maybe we should try it. We haven't really got, we've got some potions, but if we die, we die. Oh my god. Bit of bad one. Oh, we did it. Well, that was kind of close. Okay, so we need health horns, save, and a juicy stag meat.
the sludge fields. Wow, this has changed completely. Wow, we were just at the farm as well, only recently, my god. This place has been picked clean by uh, by players, so we're probably not going to get too much here. Just have a quick nose inside because this is totally different. Wow. Okay. Really interesting. have to come back here as it's been uh, heavily uh, picked by players. It's quite a popular hub, this area, so it's not really surprising. Get these fawns saved. That one done. Kind of one quest. Save this one. And pick on someone their own size. Now we have a dungeon journal as well. Okay, so we've got all the end game dungeons to pick through. Going to be very fun. Heroic Dead Mines. That is going to be a lot of uh, a lot of good stuff. We get a preview of all the nice loot as well. Some absolute classics like gold plated buckler and the raids. Brilliant. Okay, we might have to come back for that. I think maybe we should hit. Um, why don't we hand in and then hit East Point? No, we'll hit East Point Tower first. We may as well collect a few bits. Shame they're fighting their own species, but okay. Headless Horseman's Mount. It is a beautiful mount. Okay, and more changes. So we've got a bat handler here. We've got Captain Jekyll. We'll just pop this one up to uh, nail this garrot. That imbecile finally sent help, did he? These two orcs are a lost cause. They are stricken with something that I have termed Dernhold Syndrome. They were both locked up for so long that they grew an affinity for their captors. Now they sit upon my couch with their big iron balls and cry. Hopefully you will prove to be more useful. Beware the Extinction. Owl beasts. Soulless, feathered monstrosities sent from the darkest depths of the twisting nether to prey upon the weak. Nils points to the woods surrounding East Point Tower. They surround us on all sides and they are planning an attack. I can sense it. You must stop them before they can organize. I want you to head into the forest and kill every owl beast that you see. None should survive. 
kill 20 rampaging owl beasts. Get some nice coin for that as well. Look at these two. This is the life. After a hard day's questing. A haunting in Hillsbrad. The battle over Dun Garok was the bloodiest of all the Hillsbrad battles. The dwarves, outnumbered 10 to 1, fought until the bitter end. Every last one of them died in defence of that piece of land. Now I hear claims that the place is haunted. Nobody wants to go near it. Unfortunately, I have orders to prepare Dun Garok for habitation. Could you do me a favour and go to Dun Garok and search for evidence of a haunting? It's far to the southeast. Dun Garok. Search Dungarok for evidence of the haunting. What you do? And wow, that's an interesting looking uh, animation. The Dernhold Challenge. Zephyrus. Dernhold Keep has always been a place of strife. For years, the humans used it as an internment camp and prison for the orcs. After that, it was taken over by the Syndicate. Now, the Dark Lady captured and placed powerful elementals within its walls. She charged me with administering the Dernhold Challenge. Any that can defeat all the elementals will earn a grand prize. Take this guide and face your first challenge, Zephyrus. Dernold is located just northeast of us. Yeah, we are familiar with that. I'm excited to see how it's different though. Everything's so everything's so changed. Okay, so maybe check out Zephyrus. I don't think it's an elite, is it? Kind of is an elite, but it's a green quest. Probably move over to uh Rathi, even a is green, so uh actually do with moving on even more so where could we go with this uh you uh better challenges for us probably a rathy there'll be some more yellow crust there and we can actually start maybe even heading over to uh stranglethorn soon fire us Than a huge amount of health, though. I think this could be a little bit beyond our capability, especially as we no, as we no longer have uh, the abilities to reduce damage. Three thousand, though. I only got three thousand health. I say only. He's twenty-five. And then we might as well give it a shot. See if we can. We've got a, we've got a healing potion. healing on us. Let's get to a bit of a safer location. Zephyrus was a mighty adversary. Surely the remaining elementals will challenge you further. Open the guide that Jekyll gave to you. Oh, okay. Dernhold challenge, Terracula. According to the guide, Terracula is your next challenge. It roams the path just outside of Zephyrus's lair. Kill, Terracula. We get some nice uh, XP. Um, what are we looking at? 29,000, so, um, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. An 80 Blood Elf Mage, I think it'll be okay. Some Rackula, what's he doing? 4,000, probably going to be like Earthquake damage. Um, let's give it a shot. We have got Lay on Hand to get him, we've got potions, so we'll see what we can do. I actually did forget to stun last time, so... Let's 
get that flash of light. Mind intensive, but really actually almost overpowered that flash of light. That's our bread and butter heel. Hey, Dracula was an even mightier adversary than Zephyrus. The Dernal Challenge, Blood Venom. According to the guide, Blood Venom is your next challenge. Fearsome Elemental can be found on the lower level of Dernal Keep near the Western Prisons. And we've got a full infantry, obviously. Let's get rid that. So much laws are just his information on where they are. That's fine. Okay, so next up it's Blood Venom. There he is. And he has he has four thousand eight hundred health. Nasty stuff on the floor, really. monster is called Blood Venom, but challenges remain. Infernus. According to the guide, Infernus is your next challenge. This being, made of molten lava and raging fire, can be found on the lower level of Durnhold Keep, near the eastern prisons. Kill Infernus. Kind of crazy being back here again now, but uh, hey, it is good. Ooh, so what's he got? 5,500. Challenging. Definitely challenging. Make sure we've got a clear area, possibly right here. This guy does a lot of damage, wow. Burning. Okay, so he's got a charge attack. It's got a storm. That's cool, I've got some pretty nasty storms to be honest. Oh dear, this isn't good. Oh crit, critical flash of light. If we get to 50% we just heal like crazy. Burn it through our mana, which isn't good. Healing. Okay. Though you have defeated the four elements, one final challenge awaits, doesn't it always? What could it be? You open the guide that Jekyll gave to you. The Dernhold Challenge, D1000. Imprisoned in the Dernhold Keep Arena is a being comprised of pure mercury. The Forsaken have dubbed it the D-1000. Kill the D-1000, 
and claim your prize. Nice main hand. Oh, uh, ring is nice as well. Wow. So we've got uh, some nice tanking weapons. Let's have a look. Oh, that is uh, pretty good. Actually, looking at the ring goes kind of nice. Who's in the arena? Okay. I'm assuming this mage is going to go and get him now. 6,900 health. I honestly don't think we're going to be able to uh, get this guy. That last one was a close one. Okay. But I'm game to try it. Mm -hmm. We can silence him and we can stun him. Okay, let's do it. Just disappeared. I think he's um, I think he's glitched. Unless he's kind of phased out, maybe that's part of the thing. Okay, so I'm assuming did we get him? We did get him, which is good. Uh, I was actually really enjoying that um, progressive. Uh, West. It reminded me of uh, Daenerys. Looking forward to getting over there as well at some point. Some point soon as well. Okay, so we do need to get Albies. Oh, a bit. Stay away from this guy. So Albis and search Dungarok for evidence. We can do that along the way. That's uh, quite handy. again. Oh, and just so you're aware, we do have a nice helmet, but the restriction has now been increased to 30. So while we did wear it in the dungeon, we can no longer wear it just yet. Looking forward to trying it though. We've got a few, a few goodies. We've got a pole arm as well to uh, try out. The armor piercer. Chest piece, 10 strength. Wow, that is, uh, that is really nice. I think we're going to have to go for that. Maybe switch to the stamina as a tank piece. Um, yeah, kind of style.
actually quite like the cooldowns on Hand of Reckoning and Judgment. It works out twice quite nicely between pulls. Okay, so we need two more Rampaging Galvists. Nice to see the character models as well are actually quite larger in terms of um, the role they uh, represent, especially the, the elite bosses. the way. Last two we need. Nope. Well, we can go and do um, a haunting in Hillsborough and just grab that. Search Dunga Rock for evidence of haunting. Of a haunting. which were here last time. Now all dead. It's kind of a shame. They are our sworn enemy, but still. I wonder where this is going to be. Probably downstairs. Ghostly touch. I feel a bit hazy. Stamina and spirit reduced by five. It's very wrong to be a member of the Horde in a deep entrenched into enemy territory like this. Just missed it, let's see. Search for evidence of a haunting. Well, well, we've got evidence, I mean. I suppose we need actually some physical proof. I'm just completely missing it.
have a look just to make sure. There's a ghost outside and we need to talk to him. Um, which most likely is the reason why we can't find him because he's been slaughtered already. There's not actually anything in here to get. So we'll head back out. Ah, so this could be it. Captain Ironhill's ghost. Haunted? You could say that. Silence of the dwarves. The spirits of my soldiers haunt this fort now, lass. The souls are now bound to this place. Even in death, they continue to fight for that. For it. It is sad. Pull them out of their misery. Perhaps you shall have the spoils of your people's victory. Okay. Watch your back. And ten ghosts. Okay, so we'll head back in and very quickly get these ten ghosts. And then I think we will uh, head back and rest up. The trouble when you're a ghost is uh, kind of difficult to spot you. Good thing is they spawn very quickly here. We have to look at our really nice axe. See they're all dead now, but like how we can store up and bank some of that holy power now. Seems to work out quite well. So I think we've got competition here. Um, we're kind of running around in circles. I think there's someone else going around getting the, the ghost as well. So it might be... Let's see if we can get a few more. Very busy around here. Okay, so it would be wonderful to get some more Al- well, just one more Albus actually. 
everyone's trying out the new Cataclysm expansion at the moment, just uh, testing out how things work and what's different. We'll be looking to put a little bit more effort into um, resting into higher ranges as well. Um, it is great experience in the war, but um, I think it'd be really good to kind of get a little bit higher, get through the Burning Crusade, some of the Wrath content, and into, uh, into Cataclysm core content as well. As always, join those really good storylines. That is us done. Hey, so we can handle it. Brilliant. Silence of the Dwarves. They fight for their land even after death. Much like the Forsaken, I will report back to High Command that Dun Garak is uninhabitable. Let them keep what they hold so dear. We can get some nice, uh, some nice grasps of the Undying. I actually quite like the, the um, stamina and hit, and we are missing a few hits, so uh, they're worth it. Ding 30 as well, brilliant. Donald Challenge D1000. This is the first time anyone has actually completed the challenge. You, are, you truly are a powerful paladin, Valadria. As promised, choose your reward. So we have got a nice prolonged reaver to tank with. 21 damage. Kind of slow. 2.6. It's got hit rating though. 1.6, that's really good. Um, and it's got intellect. That's got hit as well. 16 damage, 23. I think it's a no-brainer. Go for the D1000 ring. Embrace the shadow. We had enough space. What is it? Our time will come. And what have we got in terms of rings? Strength and stamina. Stamina, intellect. Agility, stamina. We got hit with that. Great. And it's composed of a mimetic poly alloy. Sounds sinister. We've got a helmet to wear. We do have our armor piercer and it is considerably higher damage. We don't actually need training in uh, in pole arms as well. I mean, it is an agility weapon, so we lose strength, but we get stamina and crit. I say we try it, train up on it. We need to. We are looking a bit hunterish, which is worrying, but um, still, it's worth a shot. Extinction. The itching has stopped. I know, but they will return. Oh yes, they will return. Goodbye. Okay. So, I think we'll get to Tarimil. We'll have a rest up and then we'll continue through these great quests next time. Um, and I will probably head over now to Undercity just to um, just to train up a little. In fact, what I could do is visit good old Silvermoon. We can actually... So it's been a while since we've been there, so we can actually go straight over there. Train up, uh, why not do it from the masters themselves and then port back to Undercity? Wow, it has been an absolute while since we've been here. I think. Straight over. Grab our new tal uh, paladin spells, even. It's so long, I think I'm actually going the wrong way. 
pretty sure it's even going to set my head down. Okay, so we're here, we're back in familiar territory. I think what would be best to do is we'll um, we'll we'll call it here. We can rest up, catch up with our paladin trainers, and buy all the good stuff and goodies next time. Looks like a nice place to sit and relax. I'd like to thank you for watching me and joining me. Um, Cataclysm is here, it's a new era. I'm kind of excited for it. There's been mixed reactions, but there's new things, there's new dungeons to do, and new stories to explore, so we can jump into it. Um, and have a really good time finding out exactly what's changed and how it affects Valadria. And until then, I will see you next time.